return, final charge. Mike Bell takes the checkered flag. Bell has won the Super Bowl of motocross over Bob Hurricane Hannah. Did you know how close Hannah was getting to you as you went through the night? All I was getting was signals from my mechanic, and I just didn't want him to get any smaller. Yeah. Woke up with a big smile, and I was like, oh, it's just a dream. And on my dresser, um, my dad had put the trophy. Right then, you know, just like now, it just sends chills through my, through my whole body. I won the Super Bowl motocross. This bike that you see here was a bike that I'd worked on at DG back in the day. Uh, I was working as a mechanic for Mike Bell, me and Harry Clem were uh, working in the racing division there, and we worked together. So this bike was uh, the first, uh, one of the first bikes Mike did rode. I remember he complained, hate, hated the, the bike because it was so big. And then, uh, especially the clamps for him, such a big guy. This was an offset handlebar, 1979 Yamaha. And um, it was definitely a, a problem for him. So then in 1980, they changed the top clamp and went with a straight instead of the offset, which changed the geometry and the handling of the bike for Mike. And actually, he loved it after that, once they changed the clamps and went to the bigger diameter um, forks. This was also the first era monoshock that came out that the Swedes and the Japanese were fighting each other on, on the angle of the shocks. And they both engineers, Japanese and Swedes, were arguing back and forth on how, which, which was the right angle, which would push the bike momentum forward. Other than that, it was a two-year kind of an abortion bike. Um, this is a, if you're looking for vintage bikes today to restore, this is definitely the year that you don't want. It's a 7980 uh, pistons that I found for this bike uh, is, let's see, I think we paid about $200 for a brand new piston for this bike and normally it would be about 80 to 100 bucks. So. These parts are super, super expensive, and the guys that are selling the parts for this particular bike know that they're really rare, and they're really taking it bank. So if you are going to restore a bike, you want to do something that's after the 79 and 80 era because there's parts ready and available.